I'm Mark Idle. I farm in western Kansas, Lane County. We've been uh, farming around here for over a hundred years. My family has. Uh, my great-grandfather homesteaded a quarter of ground here in the 1890s. And today we have uh, 750 acres that we farm. It's 100% uh, no-till and it's uh, irrigated with uh, subsurface drip irrigation. We sit on top of the Okalala Aquifer here, which is one of the largest aquifers in the country. That's where we get our irrigation water from. And over the last few years, the water table has been dropping because of the irrigation and also because of the drought. And so keeping the, the water table up is a, uh, is a big concern for most people here. Because of the decline in the aquifer, it's put farmers in a tough situation where they've had to make decisions to try to be more efficient with their irrigation systems. And there's been many things tried with flood and center pivot to get them to be more efficient. But the real solution is drip irrigation. The main reasons for farmers to bring in drip irrigation would be to reduce their inputs, to reduce their labor inputs, to reduce their water input, to reduce their fertilizer input, and be able to manage that whole thing in a way that potentially brings them more yield. We know from 50 years of experience what kind of effects we can have on the yields versus the amounts of water applied. We want more for every gallon pumped. And uh, that will take the pressure off the water supplies, whether it be surface water or aquifer water. And with the system, I've noticed that, uh, you know, the water table seemed to be stabilizing underneath me. In comparison to the rest of the area, as far as that goes, there is a decline in almost every other well. Uh, I was just on the phone with the, the guy at the water board the other day, and he said that this particular well is the only well that has actually risen by 18 inches in one year. And he said that doesn't happen anywhere. It's, you know, it's got to be something involved with the, the farming practices. And the drip irrigation, to me, I believe that the future of farming in western Kansas, irrigation farming in western Kansas. A lot of these farms have been around for many, many years and they've been very successful for a long time. But in our changing economy and our changing environment, some of these changes are necessary to be successful in the future. The way that Mark started is very common. Uh, somebody will start with a small acreage, they'll, they'll see immediate benefits, and a lot of times that system will pay for the next system. Uh, it pays itself off rather quickly when it's done properly, and that gives them the capital that they need to invest in the next one and the next one, and it just continues to go out from there. There are some people who uh, look at me funny when uh, I tell them I've got drip tape buried in my field. Of course, most of them are like, what the heck is that? But uh, when they drive by my fields and they see that the corn is green and uh, some of the other farmers aren't quite as green, you know, I think they realize that what we're doing is working. They may not know what it is or how it works, but, uh, but they know we're doing the right thing.